So much sacrifice, sadly, during this coronavirus outbreak and containment. Perhaps one of your friends or neighbors lost a loved one or a job. And it seems we all know someone whose kid lost their senior year in the classroom or on the playing field. Athletes from Bird to Benton, from DeRitter to Dallas, to the St. Joseph by the Sea Vikings in New York are feeling a bit robbed these days. Well, tonight on The Good Stuff, how a group of Vikings, a lot closer to home, got last minute coaching even after they turned out the lights. It's the heart of spring in the middle of a high school baseball field. I held out hope that we'd be together again, taking the field to compete together. The mowers parked, the grass growing in places which would normally drive coaches crazy. It's fitting that I'm sitting at our field as I write this. And it's where Airline Vikings head baseball coach Toby Todd sat. And just like that, hope is gone. A little over a week ago, moments after receiving the official news, the baseball season was now called off. What kind of gut punch was that? Huge. Huge. His Viking baseball team hadn't practiced or played in a game in weeks, but he had kept up hope and kept mowing the grass. And I chose to be optimistic. However, now, realistically, he knew at that very moment he would never see his 14 seniors in uniform on this field ever again. In today's social media, you know, I didn't know how long it would be before they all found out. So with that phone still in hand, he began typing it out. Not just a quick text to let his players know. For 33 years, I've spent my springs coaching baseball, thinking strategy, scouting reports, and game plans. But I guess you can say, one last bit of inspirational coaching. I've realized that it's you guys that made me love coaching. Being proud of you after a win and hurting with you after a loss. How hard was it to write that? I don't remember if there was any pollen that day or not, but my nose ran once or twice. Like a post-game chat with his players after a tough loss, Coach Todd let him have it. It's not fair. My life, life isn't, isn't fair. fair. Again, I say you'll be tougher. Have every bit what was weighing on his heart. We say that sports can make you tougher, and I truly believe it. I have no doubt that you will survive and overcome this. You can't be the guy that doesn't quit. You can't be the guy that won't give up. If you're tough as a team, uh, then, then it goes a long way. And I think it carries them a long way in life. Especially now, when it feels like one of life's biggest lessons ever just hit student athletes everywhere, squarely in the stomach with a 100 mile an hour fastball. It, it sucks not being able to come out here anymore. It's it's kind of like a breakup. With no chance ever of getting back together. It's why Coach wanted all of his players to know exactly how he felt about them. He taught me a lot about the game and a lot about life. For seniors like Will Tynes. Most people don't understand, but it's to all of us, it's, it's a lot more than just a game. I mean, it's, it's a brotherhood. Cole Broadway and Bryson Connell. No better feeling than stepping onto a baseball field. It's just everything that you have to worry about outside of baseball just kind of all goes away. Understand, they're not pouting about not playing a game. It's about one of the most memorable learning experiences of their lives, not lost. Just like that, it was taken away. But declared over without a single pitch or swing of the bat to save the day. Kind of like the very last swing airline did get to take back on March 14th. I knew this was it. This is going to be my last at bat probably. For that game with Rustin, Bryson and the other seniors knew this was likely their last game ever. As soon as I hit it, I was like, okay, this has got a chance. And with the game tied and two outs in the final inning, it happened. It wasn't about the what ifs and the what could have beens. It was about one of those seniors driving home the winning run before this entire team of men was sent home for good. I miss you and I love you. And I'm just a phone call away if you need me. Fourteen seniors. Really unheard of to have that many on one team at one time and for it to end like this. Coach Todd's message in that text to the underclassmen as well. Never take this game for granted. Work every chance you get to always be your best. Do it for yourselves, for each other, and for these seniors who would trade places with you for one more chance to play for the airline Vikings.